Welcome, folks, to the eighth oldest stadium in the country, Vaught Hemingway, home of the old Miss Rebels, where folks have been shouting hotty toddy since the very early hours today. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun, as we'll see the number two team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs. Taking on the 20th ranked team in the land, the Ole Miss Rebels. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Rebels will kick this away to get us going. Looks like the returner will try and field this one. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. The Bulldogs offense comes on the field first today. And as this quarterback takes the field, eager to see how he plays today, there's a certain gravity about him. You can tell from the warm-up song the way the team responds and rallies around him. Can he come through on a big stage here? Yeah, this guy is their Superman. And when that opening kickoff is kicked up into the air, his cape goes on. He sets everything into place, gets the offense out of jams, does it in pressure situations. He's the arms and legs of this offensive system, but also the heart of this team. Here's the second down play. Looking to pass, it's back. Looking for the tight end, and it's caught. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. So on the opening drive, it's now third and four. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Well, this defense has got to be aware that this quarterback and this offensive coordinator, they're not afraid to take shots. Here we see it early in this game, throwing the ball downfield. The defense has got to be aware. Keep those safeties back. Keep your eyes up. Try to keep a lid on this offense and look for some turnover opportunities. No, kick it away here. He'll call for the fair catch here. Rebels offense gets their first crack now. And how about the game within a game today? The running back coming downhill, the linebacker coming up to meet him. We expect some collisions on this field today. Yeah, this linebacker's going to have his hands full because this running back is a difficult guy to contain. Both guys know where each other's going to be lined up at all times. It's just going to come down to which guy can come up and make a play against the other. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. And the Rebels hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. Grab behind the line, it's pre-scoring. So much pressure on the defense against the RPO because you're always going to be wrong if it's executed correctly. Here, they were determined to stop the run. The problem is, you leave yourself vulnerable to a throw into a flat. Right flat's open, the quarterback makes the right throw. And look at these yards. Here comes the up-tempo offense. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. And that pass rush has trapped him into sack. That is outstanding defense to be able to leverage this quarterback. That is a tough thing to do. This guy's as fleet-footed as any quarterback in the country, and to be able to bring him down for a loss like that is a major accomplishment. That sack sets up a third down play. To the air, it's dark. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. He's found some room at the 45. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. From 
the shotgun. Here's an inside give. Run down after a seven-yard gain, so it's second and three. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Offense getting set, second down play here. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. He pulls in the catch. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. And the Rebels will line up here on first down and goal. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Caught behind the line. It's Wells. Just a really good job by the corner here, recognizing this wide receiver screen. Because he was so quick to react, when the receiver makes the catch, he's right there to make that tackle. The Rebels come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. They'll try to power it in right up the middle. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Nice job by this defense on that second down, so we now have third down and goal. The offense could be thinking about four-down situation. They need to put the ball into the end zone. They don't want to settle for a field goal here. Great job by the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Looking to pass. It's dark. There's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. The offensive staff just took a collective sigh of relief. But I'd still anticipate that someone's going to pull that ball carrier aside, give him a couple choice words on the importance of ball security. So they're short on fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team, trying to connect from 41 yards away. Long enough and good. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3 0. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense we come away with three points on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away he'll return it from inside the five solid job by the coverage team they bring him down at the 16 and the Georgia offense is back out on the field are coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And the broken tackle there produces a solid gain. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. Now here comes the bunch formation. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Pulls it in. It's ETN. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. The Dogs will bring their punt team on the field now. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. On the return, it's Davis. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. Had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. 
but here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide but still be solid at the line of scrimmage not give up big run plays to throw it's dark finds an open target on the left side to get him down quickly not much of a gain on that completion they're able to get a short gain to make this third down a little bit more manageable but it is third and long so this offensive line's got to be ready do a good job of communicating and pick up any potential blitzes here on third and long. And the Rebels hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. And he'll step out of bounds, but that is a huge takeaway for this defense. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. Second down after the incompletion. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Off play action, he's looking to throw. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. Defense are going to keep the pressure up on this third down. Scanning the field, it's back. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Good job of the defense to fight through the blocks on that screen. He's short of the first down marker. Now there's just nothing here for the quarterback to do other than throw it to his back and hope that he could get the yards after the catch, enough for the first down. But the defense gives some yards, but not enough for him to get to the sticks. And the Bulldogs bring their punt team onto the field. And this will be fair caught in about the 15. And the Rebels offense is back out on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. Oh, they test the middle there, but get nothing. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Second down after that previous play. And Kirk, it's Ole Miss on top. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. Second down play coming up for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Let's it go quickly. Grab down the middle. It's Harris. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. And the Rebels will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Inside deals now from the shotgun. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. It, he just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Give it to the back again. That's a nice wrap-up there by the junior. 
Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with, with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? Back to pass. It's dark. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. Stop at the 43. This offense picks up another first down. These are the kind of plays that keep defensive coordinators up at night. You spend so much time putting your plan together to stop the pass, and then nobody accounts for the quarterback on a run. The linebacker shifting around now. The Rebels will try to keep this drive moving. Looking to pass this time. Fires it to the wide out. Caught over the middle. It's Lee. Tackle made after a big game. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. And when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Grab down the middle. It's Wells. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. And the Rebels line up with a first and goal. Looking to throw. It's dark. And it's picked off in the end zone. He goes down quickly, but comes up with a nice interception. Uh, this guy obviously did what he needed to do to get himself ready for this game. It's a favorable matchup. He's got a lot of confidence. He's already come up with two interceptions in this game alone. Locked in on what he needs to do to be in position and making plays for this defense. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Second down after that run on the previous play. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Caught over the middle. It's Evans. They get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And, you know, being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. The offense will set up on first and 10. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Grab down the middle. It's Young. And it's a huge chunk play. The tackle is finally made, but the ball moved to the 47-yard line. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. Receiver in motion now. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And the tackle is made, not the big play that we're looking for, but a pretty solid game. Good time here to drop this screen in for the offensive coordinator, and a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. Pass caught, second down now. Looking to throw yet again. Let's it go. He's a wide open receiver, complete. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. You know, in these spread offenses, 
the game just keeps evolving and the opportunities keep presenting themselves for the big guys to be able to run a corner out so hard to cover this Georgia getting set with a first and ten now quarterback will throw this out of the RPO they bring him down after a short gain there well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Jukes to get past the man. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. The offense threatening now, first and goal. Kibi decides to keep it here. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no gain. Boy, the options dried up quickly for the quarterback here. Very, very fortunate he was somehow able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and goal, upcoming. Dropping back, it's back. Here's a throw underneath to the back. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. Love to see the positive yards here. Down inside the 10-yard line, you're looking for anything to get closer to the goal line. Now it's going to set up third and goal. Got to find a way to get this ball into the end zone. Ball sits at the two-yard line for third and goal. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, dogs. A little bit surprised here, Chris. I thought they might put the ball in the air here on third and goal, but instead they run the football, keep it on the ground, and they get the touchdown. Here's the point after attempt. Extra point makes the lead four. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the old Miss offense is back out on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. Catch made over the middle. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. They'll have to hurry now. Second down with the clock ticking. Looking downfield, it's dark. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. And a timeout is called, important stage late here in the second quarter. You call a quick out on third down? I think that tells you the confidence you have in a quarterback to be able to make that throw. And on top of that, a little surprised the defense would give that kind of cushion to be able to give him room to pick up that first down. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Good job here to be able to get a foot down. That was awfully close to being out of bounds, but no, he's in. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Trying to create outside the pocket now. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play. Bring him down instead. They give up positive yards here on the scramble. Now it's second down here. 
Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Cut quickly. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. And the Rebels come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Caught near the sideline. It's pre-scoring. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. Well, the defensive coordinator is accounting for everybody except a tight end. He couldn't have been any more wide open on that play. Nice gain downfield by the big man. Second down, we're going to throw it. Looking for his big tight end. Caught over the middle. It's pre-scoring. The tackle is made, but the offense is now set up for the first and goal from the eight. The big guy was just turned loose right over the middle. Chris, how did they miss this guy? Big tight end, has great athletic ability, all alone over the middle. The quarterback's eyes lit up as he found his intended target for a big game. So it's a first down here. The clock has stopped temporarily, but they'll get to the line quickly. Scanning the field. It's dark. And the sack is made. That's a nice play there by the sophomore. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. So on second down, they'll try it out the field goal unit, trying to get three before halftime. This one is right through. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Gets it to the 25-yard line, and that's where they'll start the drive. Looks like they'll take a knee in the final play and head to halftime with the lead. Somewhat conservative call, but content to take this lead into the locker room. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. All right, thanks, guys. You've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far in Oxford today. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And on that note, time to throw it back to our guys at the stadium. The Dogs will kick this away to begin the second half. Bringing it out, it's Davis. To be tackled at the 21. That's good work by the coverage team. And the Rebels offense is back out on the field. First play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Things just appeared to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. The Rebels come to the line in the hurry up. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Bringing nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. The offense recovers the fumble. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks, when they decide to pull the ball down and run, they've got to protect it. He left it out away from his body exposed, and it got knocked away. He's very fortunate he had a teammate who was able to get on top of it. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Man, how do you like to be the offensive coordinator for this team right now with the offensive line coach trying to come up with any answer at all to deal with this pass rush? That's five sacks now in this game. They cannot seem to stop this pressure from this defense.
And the Rebels will have to punt this one away. Just able to get it away. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They're finally looking to flip. This has been a struggle for both offenses so far. Dropping back. It's back. Receiver makes the catch. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays. But the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. Short completion there. Second down coming up. And the quarterback dropping back. Oh, and he almost had it. A chance for a momentum-changing interception. Does bring up third down. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it. A lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands? Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. On third down, he drops to throw. Grab down the middle. It's Bell. And they pick up the first down. Tackle to the 25. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. Georgia setting up with a first and 10 now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Makes a quick catch. getting set up. Here's second down. Looking to throw it again. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's anybody's football. The defense, first of all, does a great job of anticipating a throw down in the red zone, and they're in great position to knock that ball up. But it was exciting to see would anybody come up with it once it was in the air. Back to throw. It's back. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. No problem. Knocks it right through. The snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And he takes this from inside the five. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And the powerful Old Miss offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. And the Rebels looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Running out of time in the pocket. They pressure him and get him. The loss back to the seven-yard line. Well, Chris, after another sack, these guys are going to be facing another third down and long situation. It seems like that's been the theme in this football game. They cannot stay on schedule offensively, making it very easy for the defense to get after the quarterback when you know he's in a must-throw situation.
So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Zero running room. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. The Rebels will have to kick this away. Offense goes backwards on this drive. He's on to punt it away now. So from his own end zone, he gets the kick away. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Coverage team brings down the returner. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They've got the lead, but had to settle for a field goal last time out. They'd love to find the end zone here. Caught over the middle. It's Love it. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw. And that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. That's reeled in. It's Bell. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. The Bulldogs looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Georgia. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. Kicking team out for the PAT try. No problem with the PAT. The lead 17-6 now. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Turner trying to create good field position. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Rebels offense back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Grab down the middle. It's Wells. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Well, you wonder if the receiver adjusted his route to get closer to that first down line. Whatever he did, it works. Move the sticks. And the Rebels will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Here comes a handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. To throw. It's dark. Looking right. This one caught. The defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Man-to-man -man coverage. You run the drag route. You prefer to get the ball downfield. But the matchup called for at least some positive yards underneath. And he makes a nice throw. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here. Down multiple scores. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Pass rush closing in. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. And the Rebels will send the punt team onto the field.
Oh, and he's got some space here. And the coverage team able to bring him down. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again? Or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. The game good for just a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Bakes the handoff, looking to throw. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They bring him down, but that is a huge play for this passing game. Big game. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. The dogs are going to cash in this red zone trip. And now the handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And they finally stop him, but a decent game that time. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Dropping back. It's back. Pass caught. Can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. So the offense flexing here, Kirk, and stretching their lead here in the second half. Now that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. And now here comes the point after attempt. The extra point makes the lead 18 now. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Returner looking to make a play here. Ball carrier brought down what is the final play of this third quarter. And notice how the balance of this passing game has been on display here. A whole bunch of guys getting involved, catching passes. That's tough to stop. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Pressure is coming. He'll be sacked back at the two-yard line. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Second and long for this offense after the sack. Keeping it on the ground here. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Defense is coming after him. That's a safety for the defense. 
Man, that is a big-time play by this defense, and the only way they can score points without getting a turnover. That should give this team a spark. Kickoff team out there to boot it away after giving up the safety. Running it back, it's ETN. Tackle is made at the 38. That's a good kick return. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? Nothing doing in that play. The big D tackle there for the stop. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Offense getting set. It's second down. Looking to throw. It's back. Gets made on the out route. Breaks loose at the 45. An explosive play across midfield all the way to the 41. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call and just keep working that clock. Second down play coming up. Tailback with another carry. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. It's third down for the offense. Can he get there on the ground? Tackle to the 28. This offense threatening now. Another first down. How impressive have these guys been up front today? Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. On first down, it's play action. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touch. Second down after that short completion. Back to pass. It's back. Looking for the wide out. Finds a receiver in the middle of the field. Tackle is made at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, you want to run the football here to work the clock, but these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Looking to pass here on second down. Caught near the goal line. Defense makes the saving tackle at the three. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. They've moved it to the three. Now it's third and goal. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Stopped right there at the line. No game. 
I'll tell you what, for a tired defense that's been out on that field for a long time on this drive, what a stop there on third and goal. It brings us to fourth and goal. And as a head coach on the offensive side, when you put together this kind of drive, you're this close inside the three-yard line, you've got to come away here with a touchdown. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. And they add to their lead. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. Set for the kickoff here after adding to this big lead. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. This offense trying to bounce back. The last time out there, they surrendered a safety. He's moving out of the pocket. Breaking free at the 35. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. The Rebels will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. To throw, it's dark. Quick throw to his receiver. And he's got his man open downfield. Football comes out. Defense grabs the football. It's a turnover. Oh, just a costly turnover here for this offense. Last thing they wanted to see is put this ball on the ground, and really any chance of getting back into this game is lost. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Kept out of the end zone last time, had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? Brought down, but the game moves the ball all the way to the plus 42. You know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given a the quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run, really, whatever they've wanted to. That's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche of this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want whenever we feel like doing it. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? They'll use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? There's the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. They're going to run it here. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Just another example of this offense, Chris, doing pretty much whatever they want to do. They've been able to run the football. Offensive lines held their own in pass protection. Quarterbacks had an outstanding day. You add all that up, big reason why they're up by such a wide margin. Out comes the field goal team to give it a shot. This is a long way out. What a kick. It's good from 57. 